the backup part of this system's great as well. I remember one of those hot days, we had a power outage. We actually came and sat in the car to cool down. We don't need to do that anymore. You know, this thing will switch across, computers won't even reboot, it's gonna be great. Be very careful you're not telling all your neighbours about it because you're gonna be so popular, you know, they'll be doing surprise parties. <laughs> when there's a black Please out. tell all your neighbours about it and put our name forward. Don't be okay. selfish. <laughs> by your energy answers. Hi, I'm here at a solar install today in Sydney, and really this install is where we're all going to go. Gone are the one and a half, two, five, eight, even 10 kilowatt solar systems. You will not just go solar alone, you will now go solar and battery, specifically New South Wales, where we do have the New South Wales battery rebate. So let's have a look of what is the system install that we really recommend most people go now to just have those power builds out of their mind for a long, long time. Hello, Good Daniel. Marcus. So you guys doing this job here today, and I'm saying this is really where the future is going because you've got a battery, you've got a solar system, and nothing really looks that special about it, but you're actually really picking the top of the line gear. Tell me a little bit about the SIG Energy battery. Well, today we have the amazing, revolutionary five-in-one solution going in from SIG Energy. You have the solar on the roof straight connected into the DC inverter. Then you have the modular storage capacity. In this case, we have 24 kilowatt hours made up of eight kilowatt hours packages. So, so one, hang on, two, these three, three units are already giving me 24 kilowatt hours because I know a Tesla is about the same size, but I only get 13. So the density in these batteries must be bloody high. Indeed, the density is improved with the lithium ion phosphate technology. The batteries also are the safest in the industry with seven layers of protection. And including this unit, you have the fast DC EV charger, 25 kilowatts straight from DC into the car. So that's three things. Is there any more special about it? So we said it? solar, battery, DC EV charger, fully integrated monitoring, and then VPP connectivity, AI-driven technology, which right, is so really the cherry on top of this amazing system. So now with the New South Wales battery rebate and with the fact that VPP is coming much more active, you're actually going to be able to get your ROI much faster, is it? Having a VPP connected to your household to, through your battery is a real game changer where now batteries are much more cost effective and make sense long term because they will be able to provide households with extra income. There is different types of VPP virtual power plants, but the one that our customer John went for, and he actually was a customer already of Humber Technologies, is our favorite partner. And the reason behind it is because that's the one that provides most of the benefits to the homeowner. So Amber basically pays you the wholesale price, and if it's very high at that point and you send it out, then you actually make the money. It's not the AGLs and the Origin sitting in front, squeeping the big bucks and give you a little bit of a pittance. It's actually the real bucks you're getting, is it? Indeed. So the customer doesn't have to be on the app and monitor everything. It's AI driven technology. So it will learn the customer's usage patterns in the house will understand what the market forecast is based also on the weather forecast. Yeah. And then we'll determine whether to store extra energy in the battery and then sell it to the grid when it's very profitable. Okay, now let's look at a bit of ROI and my income. So you possibly, I don't know, they probably had to bill five, six, eight hundred dollars a quarter. So you're saving that. So let's make it a two thousand dollar saving potentially on the electricity bill. But now with the EV charger, and if you're disciplined and basically use your solar and a battery to get that, then your $2,000 plus in petrol cost, you've also got out of your solar. So that gets a tick as well. So you save that. So you're sitting at four and let's be conservative, but the VPP I think can deliver a thousand plus a year as well. So you're actually then looking at potentially five grand and there's might be even still a trickle of feed in tariff coming through. So your return on this investment is five, six, six and a half, depends really how your VPP is flowing. That really makes batteries now um, something that really more and more people go for. How many batteries out of 10 installs do you do? Well, at the moment, the rate in New South Wales is 90%. So nine out of test systems that we provide to our customers are with batteries. Uh, 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 hang on. 
There are some cheap solar companies with $2,999 systems. They don't even know how to install batteries yet. So I think the 90% is more because you guys are explaining to customers the whole picture. It's not because that is average everywhere else. Uh, but one other question now, you got behind you the panel. I mean, this is 24 kilowatt hours. That's a decent sized battery. We're sitting here, normal Sydney suburb. It's an averagey kind of roofs. I expect 25, 30 panels. How many panels can I get onto this roof? So this customer has already had solar before. He had 32 panels of 250 watts for a total of about eight kilowatts system. Now we're putting 33 panels, squeezing one extreme. But the beauty of this is we're doubling the system capacity to 16 kilowatt. So what do I get out of these panels? I mean, average now in Sydney for 40 watt panels. What's this one? This is a 475 from Ico Solar, which is just being ranked as the number one solar panel from Australia. So I'm actually, you've added even an extra bit more than a kilowatt just by going for the slightly more higher efficient panel. Is that right? Yeah, compared to the average uh, system size, panel size uh, of 440, it's about 1.2 kilowatt extra on the roof. Right. So over the life of the system, if I do some really quick math, we're looking at 15 grand more in total income over the life of the system, just because he's actually picked a slightly more efficient panel. It's not just the extra efficiency, it is actually that the Ico um, Solar, they patented a new technology called ABC, all back contact. So as you can see here on the surface, there is no context. Um, yeah, they know the, the little metal bus bars. bars. Yeah, no, they're no not bus there. bars transporting uh, electricity, which means in the event of the partial shade due to trees or leaves or birds dropping, the panel will outperform any other panel without this amazing ABC technology. Right, right, right. Look, I have a bit of advice. If you ever want to get out of Smart Energy Answers, I think there's a job with ICO for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here with John, and John's the owner of this u butte system, and I'm a little bit jealous, and I have to find a way to get one myself. This is really the Ants Pans cutting edge now. Did you know that that's what you wanted or did the sales guy really explain it to you or so are you a bit of a nerd and you researched the whole thing? I mean, give us your thought process of how to be at the front of the curve. Well, look, we've had solar panels for a while. So we had eight kilowatts um, that we put in about 10 years ago. And then recently my wife needed a new car. She wanted to get an EV um, and we ended up going with a Cupra Born. And I just started researching like, you know, how does this stuff all work together? Got a couple of quotes from some solar installers. They didn't really understood how Amber worked or the feeding tariffs, like the basic questions I was asking, they didn't really get. So, um, you know, poked around and I don't know how, but I came across this Saigon store system and I'm like, this sort of does everything that I need it to do. Pinged a couple of those guys, they'd never heard of it, didn't know what it was. Ended up reaching out to the managing director of Saigon store. I think he was on your channel and offered like, you know, hit me up on LinkedIn if you got any questions. So I'm like, I've got questions. Oh, <laughs> he should get the sales commission. Yeah, he should, he should. <laughs> <laughs> so I reached out to him on LinkedIn. He got back to me and put me in touch with, um, with Smart Engineer answers who actually seem to understand how this stuff all fits together um, and quoted me on this system. So smart energy answers were actually the smarter installers were that? They were. Definitely right. were the smarter now installers. Now we've got Daniel here from Smart Energy Answers. That, that's hey, nice hey, That's hey, nice to hear actually. He, he, he was left in the dark and you guys actually listened. So that, that must be nice. Innovation is one of our core values that we have as Smart Energy Answers since the inception eight years ago. So educating our customers of what the new technologies are, what the new energy models are and how we can tailor a solution based on the current needs and also future needs and based on the site's requirements as well because not every site is the same. Now you've had an eight kilowatt system and you worked out that that just wasn't enough to drive the battery and the EV and everything like that or how's the story there? Not quite, it was more, um, so when I was looking at, looking at this sort of late last year, November, December, um, there were some massive price spikes on Amber. So we had a couple of weeks there where we were seeing $18, $20 a kilowatt hour, three hours at a time. Wow, and you could have made a lot of money then. Look, I did the math, like, you know, with the EV plus the batteries in this system, if we'd been able to feed it all in, I think we would have made like four or five grand in a couple of weeks. So when I sort of spoke to these guys, all about like, okay, how much solar can we fit on the roof? I even said to Brad, hey, look, quote me for an extra five panels. If you can fit them in on the day, fit them in. If you can't, give me the money back. And he's like, yeah, okay, we can do that. So yeah, it was more about maximizing. I think the bit that I didn't really know 
um, which uh, Smart Energy helped me with, was the, you know, what should be the right battery size for this sort of thing. And look, also because it's expandable, you know, if we find that we're feeding it all back into the grid every day to Amber and making money, it's like, hey, we had some excess solar we didn't use, well, I can always put another eight kilowatt or a five kilowatt pack on and make it bigger. Now, in terms of the panel efficiency and all that, did you kind of work out that you wanted one of the most efficient panels with the ICO, or was that something that Smart Energy recommended? That was more of a recommendation. I sort of like, you know, I saw the 450s and the 470s, um, and it's like, let's just put the biggest panels we can. Um, I mean, the funny thing was, Brad was like, like, we didn't have panels on the front of the house before. I was like, hey, let's put them on the front. No reason not to. And he's like, do you want these special black panels that look pretty? And I'm like, well, I do, I'd lose any watts. Like, yeah, they're only 450. I'm like, I don't care what it looks like. Put the bigger ones on. <laughs> <laughs> A true nerd spoken. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.